you're not going Don't home, touch have me. a seat. Then have a seat and care. act right. No. What got her into prison? Oh, you have to out. What happened to her? Get ready to explore something interesting with us. Don't miss the latest video. Let's start the journey right away. The incident began with a confrontation between a woman named Jenna and security officers as she attempted to enter a club but was turned away. She became aggressive, verbally abusive and resisted arrest as they attempted to arrest her. Not letting you in. Have a nice night. We're going on the back. Don't touch me. There you go. Put each other. I'll call the cops on you. You idiot. I am a cop. Yeah. yeah you can let go. I got both. Use the power. You idiot. You got a grip. Really? Yes. Well, you guys have better stuff to do. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Please let go, man. I don't want you touching me. Honestly, I don't want you Right now, you're my responsibility. Yeah, I think you're gross. I'm okay with that. Five one has a female one. Oh, you are gross. So you guys have better stuff to do? Stand by. No? Nothing better to do? Six five has a forty one. Nothing better to do? I'll be coming to headquarters. Nothing better to do? Jenna was arrested and placed into a police car where she continued to insult the officers, asked to see her friends and expressed her anger. They asked Jenna to relax and breathe but she remained uncooperative and continued to insult them. She was taken to the police station where she struggled with the officers as they attempted to process her case. Yeah. We're just going right over here. Right don't up touch this way. Well, don't unfortunately, touch I don't want you to touch me. Too bad. I mean, Stop, please. No. Stop, don't touch me. I don't, I don't want to touch you. Then walk on right. your own. I just have to get your purse off, okay? I don't care. It's hooked on to me, idiot. Can I go home? Nope. Why don't you take a seat, a seat. and no. take a breath? I okay. I actually need to go home. Now. Okay, well, I'm you need to. I'm having anxiety attacks and I want the lawyers okay. here. Okay. Lawyers now! You're not going don't home. Have me. a seat. Then have a seat. Okay. And act right. No. Okay, you can just go right in the cell. No. Come on. Stop. Stop. Okay, just make sure there's nothing in her pockets. Thank you. No one touched here. me. Don't start. Okay. Go don't. You gotta pop your shoes off here. What are you doing? Oh, no. What's her name? Stop. You're gonna hurt yourself. I don't care. Stop. I want to go my foot oh, one more time. It's so ah, stupid that I'm ah, here. Just stop, kick stop, your shoes off, please. I wanna go home. I'm not. Can you my shoes off, you idiot? All right. All right. Thank you. Right. Come on, Jen. Hold on, I gotta get this thing out of my pocket. Let's go to let's go to the cell. I'm not moving. Everything good? Okay. okay. Well, we'll we can just... help you, but I would much rather you walk on your own. All right, Jen. We're gonna we're gonna pick we're gonna you up. Stand all right. Stand up, Wait. nice and easy. Okay. Right no. I don't want her bracelet to break. I want these off, and I want to go home. Okay. Well, want... stomping on my foot and kicking your legs around is not going to change that. I wasn't doing anything wrong, you idiots. Nice and wrong. That's the thing, like I literally wasn't. That's okay, great. Stop. Oh. Stop. Stop. Kick it. I'm not doing it. I'm not You know what? Stop. Take off of me now. You got her legs out? You need to stop, okay? You no. want to go home? Then stop. And just, just listen to what we said. Let me go home. Stop kicking. So you guys have better stuff to do, you idiots? What? Go arrest somebody that's doing something bad. You fucking idiots. Well, now you got her attention, so you gotta. No, you fucking idiots! So you have anything better to do, you dumb f Ow! Ah! Ah, she asked to go home, asked for a lawyer, and continued to swear at the officers. We'll be right back. Don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do it. Okay, well, now you definitely can't some charges. Back up! Oh, you wanna punch me? You crazy? You want me like that? You want to punch me? You want dead? Hey, scrub hair. Cool. And no water is allowed? We don't have any other water right now. That's crazy. I'll look for a cup here in a second, but I have paperwork to do everything else, okay? Yeah, that's fair. So I'm parched and I need water now. Okay, well, this isn't the Hilton. Don't care. Okay. Good enough. 
Would you like to keep acting like, acting like this and stay till 6 in the morning or be released with, when your father gets here? I didn't ask you to call my dad. I didn't. I never called your dad. I don't even know how they found out. But I spoke to mom on the phone. She said your dad's on the way. As long as you're fine, I'll release you to him, okay? Jenna's father picked her up at the police station. Police informed her that she had behaved disrespectfully and that her release was contingent on her behavior. So, I mean, I'm not really in the practice of getting disrespected and then just letting somebody go early. So I know you came down here. Um, I'll give her a shot for another 20 minutes or so. And then if she's fine, we'll get her out to you, okay? What did she do? If you don't want me to ask I mean, I can't really tell you. Um, she's an adult. She's 24, but she's got some charges. So there'll be a court date. Um, I'll make sure she has all the paperwork when she leaves, but, uh, yeah, her conduct has not been wonderful. So, um, Does she know I'm here? yeah, yeah, no, I let her know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, she's been accosting us over water, which I gave her a cup of water before and she just wants more and more and tell my dad and this and that. And okay. Unfortunately, can I see her? No, no, not right now. Like we can't let civilians back in there. I apologize. That's true. All right. No, I mean, I get it. She's safe. She's in the cell. She's not, you know, harmed or anything like that. Right. Um, but her actions right now are completely just uh, ridiculous. So. Oh. Alright, we got oh, hold on. No. Just make a right once you go out the door. Right this way. And then just no not this one. All the way down. And then just make a right right in here. Alright, you toss your sneakers on. Jenna was informed of her charges, which included disorderly conduct, trespassing, assault, and a resisting arrest. The police reminded her of her court date, and she was eventually released to her father. What do you think if she is convicted? Let us know in the comments below. On December 31st, 2023, a police officer in Florida responded to a call about a woman named Samantha who claimed she had been kidnapped in the back seat of a car. The officer spotted a vehicle matching his description and signaled for the vehicle to stop. What's going on? Sorry, she was, so we came from a she good time. She's drunk, calling the police. Yeah, I gotta roll it down. Excuse Who's me. Who's the one that called? Her, she's I, I'm drunk. The one Sir, please help. They're on their permit. Please. They're on their permit. You can hang up and talk to me. And that's fine. I could talk to you. Sit here please on the Please get permit. this bitch out the car. But they literally don't have their shit. Sir, can you listen to me? Who's she to I don't know her. I don't. Listen, can you please listen to me? I live all the way in Holiday, Florida. I came out to have a good time because I just moved out there i picked her up today because this is her friend uh -huh. she called the police saying that we had her that we had her trapped and all this other stuff because she got she, we was looking for her but we didn't call the police or anything i swear we didn't call the police or anything she called the police saying oh they have us kidnapped we're like kicking her out she's great like she, i don't know and we're telling on. her we said hang up the phone we're this is her address we're i'm literally taking her home and she's going nuts. and she's like, on the so phone she's your friend yeah i don't know Did her anything I, happen down there no she's She's literally like, and I'm gonna hang up the phone. Why are you on the phone with the police? This is your address. I'm taking you home. Let me she talk with her. Samantha insisted that she had been kidnapped, despite her friends explaining that they were taking her home. They're trying to take you home? Yes, but I want them arrested because they've been harassing me this whole time. Harassing Harassment's me. not a crime. Yes, harassment is a crime. They're trying to take you home. No, they literally been, no, 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 no. It, it, it's not because I've been drunk. It's literally because they had me at these niggas' houses and I didn't know where the fuck I was. Okay. And I didn't know, bro. So you, I've been, you, I've been drunk before because I want them harassed. For, I want them trespass for trespass harassing. From where? They literally have their permit. I want them her, from harassing me. Where do you want them trespass from? I want them fucking. They harass me all the way here. That's not a crime. So they, that's not a crime to harass me all the way here. No. Okay. Well, you got in a car with them home. willingly, right? I got in the car with them willingly, but the, at the end of She's the day, they, they literally, to take they literally home. try to, bro, no, it's not that. I literally, let me Do you call want me to, how about this? Do you want me to call you a taxi? No, would you like to I call want, I want them to be uh, taxed with something, bro, because it's not okay. No, it's not harassed. They've been, bro, they literally, they're drunk as fuck in the car. They can't drive nowhere. Okay. You are also intoxicated. Okay. Everybody's intoxicated. We can all be intoxicated. We're all drunk as shit. 
they can't drive nowhere because of drunk as shit. The situation escalated when she asked the police to arrest him for harassment. But the officer explained that it was not a crime while intoxicated. Samantha admitted to having been drinking and accused her friends of wrongdoing. I'm a CNA, I work at the Barrington. I don't be doing this. I went out because, you know, New Year's and I work on New Year's, so I went out today. And then she's on the phone with the police saying we kidnap her. This is her address. Literally in my phone, this is her address. We're literally going to her house. I live all the way in Holiday. I'm taking her home. Okay. And then we're at the parking lot. She calls a, a, a boy. Mm -hmm. And it's like five six guys in the freaking car i'm like is he? i'm like not as this is Z. i don't know her i just met her today i said i don't do this stuff i do not call a guy and then it's like 20 of them in the car i don't do stuff like that i came out to have a good time it's already about to be five o'clock i got work and then she's on the phone with the police saying, oh, we kidnapped her and all this other stuff. We're, 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 figuring like, it out. we're like, what are you talking about? We're taking you home. Literally Nobody did anything hey, to her. Stop it. Nobody it. did anything to her. This just, is fucking drunk. She needs to just, please, just, please. Please. just please. Have y'all been drinking tonight? No. We, no, we, no, we have not been I'm driving. The, you can clearly tell we're fine. Like, we have, we have had a cup downtown, but that was... Oh, like, yeah, we did have a cup downtown. How long ago was that? We was downtown at 11. Yeah, 11, we, we like 25. Downtown, like, around 12. But it was, but it wasn't, hey, even, it wasn't even a cup. It was just a drink out of the bottle. So I did, but I'm perfectly fine. Like, I'm not. You want me to get out? Just pull it on this one. This is my radio. I know. <laughs> <laughs> As we see the breath line is going on, it's zero. Let me do the other person. P02. As the conversation escalated, the officers warned her about her behavior and threatened to use pepper spray if she continued to resist. Samantha began to feel overwhelmed, expressed concerns about being assaulted, and asked to speak to a female officer. She brought the bottle to me and I can show all the messages now. <laughs> I, I literally can't. I literally can't. I literally yeah, can't. Because can. can. you guys are going to press all the charges on me and literally I know for a fact this bitch is going go. Go back to your police. Please, okay, we're trying please, to figure out what's going on. Please, go charge, take a look please. out of the car and charge a fucking bottle, please. I'm not trying to charge no fucking bro. I know there's a bottle back there for a hey. fucking fat because I didn't buy it. And bro, I wish I could show y'all my fucking phone, bro. Y'all make me feel fucking crazy, bro. I know for a fact there, there's a liquor, a whole liquor crown royal bottle in there. Was that what you drank earlier? That's what we all drank earlier, so that's why I'm not understanding why y'all not are pressing shit on her awesome. i'm gonna get the f let me get all right no. all right this one Girl, my jasmine's stay against the car <laughs> they have all my shit in there and you're telling jasmine, me jasmine they put they everything in your purse they just telling me that you jasmine. didn't they told me they you're put lying. everything in your so you're here. telling me that that girl naya and that girl fucking uh zia is not fucking drunk right They're now not, no. All, All right. of your property should be mom. in your purse. Let me call He's my trying mom. to calm your purse. Let me call my mom. 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 Can you check everything? No, let me call my mom off your phone because I can't call him off of you. He's uh, calling your mom. No, but you guys are sitting here not believing me. Bro, can I just go in your house, bro? No, please? you gotta stay right here. No, please just sit here and arrest Jasmine. me. Jasmine, Jasmine, we don't want to arrest you right now. So we're trying to get a hold of your mom. No, because you guys are sitting here letting them leave and they're drunk as and I literally Jasmine, you are drunk as shit. I don't I think you're a I'm, good judge right now. I literally know I'm drunk as shit. But at the end of the day, I know that they're literally, they literally took shots with me. Can I please go home? Can I please? Can I go home? Can I please? Can I please? Can you please not? Can you guys please not? Can I please just let my mom, bro? Because you guys are sitting here acting like I don't know. The situation got worse as she continued to curse in the car, accusing the police of misconduct. Her agitation increased and she claimed that she was being abused. 
I'm getting sued. Uh, turn no. Around, turn around and face that way. No. Turn around and face that way. No. You better, no. You better stop right now. Or I'm gonna pepper spray you. No. Stop uh, it. I'm just gonna sit here. No, you're Leave not. She was eventually charged with several offenses, including DUI, resisting, obstructing, and a police officer without violence. A possession of marijuana. What do you think of Samantha's sentences? On September 17, 2023, a police officer was nearly stopped by a vehicle that continued to weave in and out of lanes signaled a left turn but instead turned right officer immediately stopped the vehicle so i saw you the reason i i stopped you is because you crossed the center line coming on normal is there a reason that you were crossing me on your phone or anything yeah i was trying to like put in the directions oh you're trying to put the re directions in I was already kind of there. I was, like, all right do you live do you live here actually no no live you live around here where do you where do you live hey can you crack the window yeah. so we can hear you it's a yeah. crack Okay. I, sorry, it's a so, I get you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we can't do, hear you. We can't fully yeah. hear you. Just roll this one down just just a little bit more no, for me. Because my car been removed from my car. Okay. I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle no, then. No, I'm not about okay. I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle. Why? Because I can barely hear you and you're. I'm you're... not stepping out. Okay. The officer asked Doe to roll down her window, but she refused and explained that they were trying to enter directions on their phone. Have you had anything to drink tonight? Mm -hmm. Couple drinks. Have you had anything tonight to drink? What was your reason for arresting me again? You're not under arrest. The reason well, I the reason I stopped you is because on normal you went and crossed the center line. And you almost ran into my car. I am so sorry about that. I definitely was trying to like put in definitely. Okay, that's the reason why. That's the reason I stopped you. Sorry. Okay. Do you have your license and insurance on you? Actually, I do. Okay. Want to want to grab your your license? Okay. So. You say, are you going to give me a ticket or what's going on? You say, what was the reason I almost ran into you? So the, re the reason that I stopped you is because you crossed the center line and almost what? ran into I me. think you guys just terrorized me the whole way. No. I no. think you did. No. So explain that to us. So. Because literally, so I'm here at my friend's house. And then you guys, literally, I saw you and I literally was like, okay, what are they about to do? So I got scared. Okay. So I also was like calling up my friends and my family as well, like as I was parking and things. And then you got a backup car over there. Like, are you trying to take me down or what? I didn't do anything too wrong or I don't know because I didn't feel like I was about to hit you. No. Yes, I was making a turn and you guys tried to get me in this, what is this called, a gangway or something? No, so you, before you made the turn is when I saw you cross the center line. So And so you, what? Okay, can I see your license for me, please? Yeah, but I have other questions too. I actually go under this procedure a lot. Okay. And I don't like people coming after me for no reason. Okay. The officer asked the driver for identification, but she continued to refuse. They warned that the driver would be arrested for obstructing if she did not comply. She felt she had done nothing wrong and questioned the officer again. No, for, I was not. For this that to close. move forward, we're gonna need your state ID and we're gonna need What happens insurance. if it don't move forward? Because it's gonna move forward. Okay, All if right. you if you continue to refuse, you'll I'm be under arrest for obstructing. What what am I refusing? You guys just told me to get out of the vehicle and this is my license. It's just chilly out there. Right. This is actually not my stop, license, by the way. To provide your no, I don't have yes, to. You do. you do, yes. Oh well I'm not. So what does that mean? Okay, then so you're under arrest for you will be under arrest for obstructing. And what's that? You are obstructing our our attempt and duty to I guess, put in better words. We, we, we have to identify. We have to, at, at the very least, we have to document them. But how can I say that you guys harass me this entire time? We're not harassing you. We you simply... are. I'm part. So if you want to file a report of us harassing you, we have to document who you are, right? What are we going to write? My Maybe... fingerprints. My we, fingerprints. We don't even have you. Have... Bring you in for but what do I do when I say no to my fingerprints as well? That's obstructing then. That, how do, we, That's how do like, you want us to do because that? Because I didn't do anything wrong. I made a right turn, okay. and you guys followed me into this parking lot, okay. which so, I'm again, here. Again, again, you are on a traffic stop. Have to provide. What was your the stop license. again? You crossed the center line. After checking, the officer discovered that the driver had a suspended license, leading to the arrest. Doe continued to refuse to comply and expressed concern about her broken wrist. No, that's not you. Mm -mm. No, because that, that's Amari. Who? Amari. Okay. 
Who is that? Okay. We can always check your fingerprints when we get out of the police department. So I'm still going to jail. It's not okay. my traffic stop, but... Yeah, okay. We're going to get you out of the car, okay? You're okay. under arrest for obstructing. You're refusing lawful orders. I'm not. Yes, you are. I literally just told you all what's going on. You said Corey. And you didn't stop me. I stopped myself. So what's really going on? Okay. Officer Valentine. You're under arrest. Come on. Okay. Get out of the car. Okay. Get out of the vehicle. All right. Get out of the vehicle. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Please. I have a broken wrist. I okay. do. Look at my wrist. Turn around. Turn around. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Put your wait, hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Stop tensing up. I'm not. I'm strong. You're weak, dude. Stop. Please tell me when you're watching, when you're touching me, okay? All right, stand right, stand right here and widen your stance for me, okay? We're going to do a pat down. I'm sit in not the car. because I have a lot to say. Okay, you're okay. under arrest. Take a seat. Why? Take a seat in the car. Yes. Why? For obstructing and driving on a suspended license. We gave you several times to give us your name, your ID. I wasn't driving. You refused driving. to give anything. Then I you gave a false driving. name. And you I drove here. We driving. watched you drive. So put your feet in. I wasn't driving. Put your feet in. But why? I don't understand what y'all are talking about. Please explain to me. What... Come on, come on. That way or that way? You'll come off this way. The conversation between Doe and the police became tense, with her feeling unheard and oppressed. I'll give you a choice. My lips this stop. is this is your this is your choose your own adventure right here. Yeah, I'm listen, choosing. Listen, listen. Would you like so to let I'm go of going. the ID, or would you like ID? us to take it? We are giving you the option. You take it. You going straight down so because my wrist is broke, and you're using excessive force. Is it and, excessive? And are you listening to anything? Are you listening much. to us? So no, I can only hear. So you're not listening to us. I mean, I'm trying. Don't you do that. No, we're doing this. No, seriously, no. Oh, they can drop the ID. We're done with this. You break my arm. Hey. Oh! My pinky! Stop! Oh! Hey! Oh! Why won't you release it? You're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself. If Why you... are you not stopping it? I'm telling you to give it Because you need to stop and let go of it. You gotta I told you my wrist is broken. And we explain. Ah! It's definitely not broken if you're holding on to the ID. Your arm isn't broken if you're holding on, squeezing on to the ID. All right. Go ahead and take them. Doe was charged with obstructing and other traffic offenses. Was the sentence really what Doe deserved? At exactly midnight on November 4, 2022, a concerned citizen called 911 about a Chevrolet Traverse stopped in the westbound lane heading east. When officers Maria Mangle and Garito arrived, they stopped the vehicle for public safety and then approached the driver, Layla, who was the only occupant of the vehicle. Put the car in park and turn it off, please. Yeah, of course. I was just looking for a number. Rounds up three, ten, twelve. Can you turn off the car for me? Yeah, of course. You do realize you're uh, in the wrong lanes, right? I do. You're I was on... just looking for a number. Yeah, you're on the wrong side of the roadway. I know that. I was looking for a number. Why would you be on the wrong side of the roadway, though? Because I just pulled off to the side of the road. Yeah, you're not in the side of the you're, the... you're in the westbound lanes and you're facing eastbound. Yeah, I know. Okay. I apologize. Where are you coming from? Uh, North Palm Beach. North Palm? What were you doing over there? That's where I live. Where are you coming from, though? I had to drop off the phone. Where? In North Palm. Can you give me the keys, please? I don't understand why I have to. You don't have to understand. Just give me the keys. Okay. Thank you. Layla was stopped by the police officers for driving the wrong way. She became confused and asked to go home, mentioning her three children who were waiting. So we're drinking at home and then went to your friend's house? Jupiter? No, I was drinking at my friend's house and then I went home to my friend's house. Okay. We have an eight-year-old. Who are they home with? You know who's so upset that I can't Okay, I didn't even do anything fucking wrong. Can I have your driver's license, please? Oh, you sure can. But I also know people. Okay, good. You're messing with the wrong one. Okay. Are you threatening him? I'm not threatening him, but I do know people. That's fine. Despite claiming innocence, she began to threaten the officers and asked them to call her husband, refusing to cooperate. 
Who are you calling? My husband. Because if he's not here, I'm not getting out of the car. You'll have to drive me fucking out of here. I have three fucking kids. Just take me home. Oh, that's works. not an option. Sean of North Palm Beach. What about Officer Sean? Call him. I'm not calling anybody. Call him. He has nothing to do with this. He won a minute. I don't think that he'd appreciate you calling him at 1.30 in the morning. Well, I am going home tonight, and I'm not going anywhere other than my house. Okay. And you will take me there. No. No? I'm not going to take you there. You are. Then where are you going to take me? I have three children. Okay. And they're home safe with your husband, correct? No. Because I can't get a hold of him. Okay. Well, because he's probably sleeping. Because it's 1.30 in the morning. Well, why can't you just take me home with him? Because. That's not how this works. Because you want to be me? No. <laughs> the officers explained that she was arrested for driving under the influence. D-U-I and attempted to calm her down, emphasizing that her behavior was endangering others. I'm calling my fucking husband. Do okay. not touch me. Okay. If you touch me. Come on, step out. Get out of the car. You're gonna harass me? No, relax, 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 okay? Relax. Go to your phone. I'm not. Don't make me I have the right to call my husband. Stop tensing up. Stop. I want you to call my husband right now, though. Listen, you called him about stop. 30 times already. Stop pulling away. It's not going to get you anywhere to do that. It's only going to make it worse for you. You're going to be under arrest. You're going to beat me? No. No, no we're not beating you. Everybody no here has to. video cameras on their chest. Yep. Everything that has occurred from the start to finish is on body camera. Can you call my husband right now? No. You will call your husband. Right now? Nope. No. When we get a chance, we will. We have other things to do first. Layla continued to disobey, expressing frustration and asking to contact her husband. Layla repeatedly asked the officer to call her husband and expressed her frustration with the situation. Oh, do you want anything you want me to do? Listen, what we well, want you to do is do that so that we can get the process moving faster, okay? Okay, I'll so do listen that. To me. Okay. Listen Don't to think me is you! <laughs> I'm so scared. Alexandra? <laughs> Just keep me here. I'll do anything can you, you want me to, can please. You stop? Can you stop? <laughs> I can stop. Okay. Anything you want me I to need do, you to take a deep I'll breath. do. I'll do You're anything. You're hyperventilating yourself. I'll Stop do. talking. I'll do anything. Stop talking. Anything you want me to do. You're clearly not doing what I want you to do. Okay. I'm sorry. I want you to stop talking. I'm sorry. I want you to take a deep breath. Yes, sir. Okay. I want you to get your breathing under control. Okay. Because you're hyperventilating. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm, I know you're scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're scared. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Let me explain this to you. You yeah. are under arrest for driving under the influence, okay? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I need you to calm down and just listen because we're right now having a conversation. Okay? I don't want the mean Alexandra coming out again. I'm not mean. I just have three children. I understand that and you will see them. You will see them here in eight hours, okay? Sorry, I'm gonna put it in the car, okay? I need to get home to make sure my babies are safe. They're safe. They're not safe. You don't know my babies. Stop. Listen, relax your arm. I didn't leave them. I'm on my escape. Can you just let me go, please? No. Can you follow me? If you weren't driving the wrong way. You're not taking my fucking ring off of my finger! I can promise you that I don't want your ring to keep. I'm I have to put it. That's fine. That's a $4,000 ring! Yeah, it's gonna okay. go with you. Don't it's worry about it. You're gonna right. get it back. No, you're not taking that off! But I'm this, married! That's fine. We we heard you. You I'm told married. us that you had a husband. We're not you're saying you're not married. Ring. We're not stealing anything. You're Relax. Stealing you're out of control for no reason. I'm stealing anything. You your property. Your listen, prop listen, your property is going with listen you to, to the jail. Okay? I'm see, listen, it's fine. Either uh, I take it off or they're gonna cut it off. Which would you prefer? I just okay. Want Relax you your hands. Stop. Relax your hands. Baby. Stop talking. Listen. Either I take it off right now or they're gonna cut it off. Would you prefer it to be cut off or would you like me to take it off for you? Take it off. Okay. Relax your hands, Go please. Ahead. You're gonna steal it. Forever. I'm not gonna steal it. I don't want anything. it. We all have body worn cameras that are recording. No one's stealing anything. No one wants her ring. <laughs> Okay. 
Despite claiming to respect the officers, the police proceeded with the arrest and informed her that she would be held in jail for eight hours. She was eventually charged with DUI and refused to sign summons. If you were a judge, what sentence would you appropriate for Layla? Comment below. In a recent incident on March 22, 2023, in Washington, police were called to a local store after reports of inappropriate behavior behind the store. Upon arrival, officers encountered a woman who was accused of being intimate at the location. Hello, police department. Hello. What are we doing? Hello, how are you? I'm good. What do we got going on? Someone called well, and said that you're having sex back my here. Daddy here. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Do you have an ID on you? I don't. What's your name? People called and said you were having sex back here and the business doesn't want you here. So. Having sex with who? That's what they said. <clears throat> but they don't want you here regardless, so I'm going to trespass you and then we'll be on our way. Okay. What's your name? How do you spell this The police requested the woman to provide her personal information, but she appeared confused and agitated, denying the accusations and questioning the police presence. Nelson? What's your birthday? March 10th, 22. March 10th of what? 22. 22. Yeah, my license is out of Michigan. March 10th, what year were you born? 2022. Okay. Can you look at me, please? 2022, 2002. I'm so sorry. God damn. Can you I look smoked at me? some weed. Okay. Well, you're detained, Erica. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Erica, you have more? Erica, stop. Erica. When Erica began to cooperate, but then resisted and tried to flee, officers were forced to use coerced measures and handcuffed her to control the situation. Furthermore, the police noticed signs of substance abuse. <coughs> Erica, just let you know everything's been audio and video recorded, okay? Yeah, I got that. Go again. And I was having sex with the bush, right? <laughs> yeah? Erica, love. Well, where you been, girl? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, shit. Girl, I just having... saw you got clean. You are walking downtown. Yeah. That was like two years ago. Yeah. Five days after Domus bailed me out, they wanted me to turn myself in because they want me to do a year in county. I mean, you got me saying, I just got out of, I just got out of, they want me to turn myself in now. <coughs> Erica, do you need any medical attention? Yeah. You didn't pull any drugs. No, but I did do a, you see the foil that's right there? Oh wait, it's in my pocket. Oh, uh, I had a study I know. and foil. Do you need any aid for being in the bushes? I want to make sure you're not hurt from... No, but I saw up. you coming from afar, so I took that pill, so... I have D-I-O-D. You didn't see us. No, I did, too. Obviously, that's why I hate my foil. Nick, stop acting like you know me. Please. Well, we did know you. Give me some medical attention, because I will O-D. Okay. Alright, I'll start BLS, too, for... She admitted to using fentanyl, a powerful opioid often used medically for pain relief, but highly addictive and potentially fatal when misused. In this emergency, the police use Narcan to ensure the woman's safety after using stimulants. Here, we're going to give you some Narcan, okay? Need some Narcan? Okay, I'm going to give you the bush, Best way to withdraw. I'm not overdosing, but it's the quickest way to withdraw. In three hours, I'll be off Betty. So can you put me in a car, please? Yep. Uh, yummy? Yep. Mm, damn, dude. I love you, girl. You think I'll have bail? You see a judge, probably. I don't know. Is this is this like your final one where you'd have to go to jail? This, this was, um, what do you call that? Would you get a... Uh, Sentencing. They wanted me to turn myself in and then have a next day uh, in custody court hearing and then five days later have a huh? sentencing. Yo! Uh, that 
person. Yeah. I'm trying to tell hey. Take your stuff. No. You know you would not have let me go. I don't know. <coughs> Muting. Witnessed what happened we with the officers. Two officers. Okay. Um, is it okay if I just interview you guys in regards to the use of force aspect of it? Is that okay? Sure. Okay, I'm just gonna do one at a time. So if I can just have, I'll just, we'll just step aside real quick. Whoever wants to talk to me first. I'll talk first. I'm taller. Okay. So the the reason that I'm talking to you is is in regards specifically to the use of force that happened because the officers sorry. had to take. Uh, sounds like they had to take her down to the ground. Can you describe a little bit of what you saw? So most of what we saw was through that window and over her car. Okay. Because we didn't want to be. A distraction. Sure. Um, we definitely saw the officers pull up. They called. Um, I answered because I'm the one who called it into dispatch. Yeah. Because it looked like two people. Fuck. Sorry. Yeah. And so we we're like, hey, that's not okay. And they called and they said, hey, where's this happening? And we said, oh, we're in the back of the store. And he goes, oh, okay, I see. So we ended the call and they approached the person and they got out and they attempted to run away. Okay. And they used. What I considered was a safe and necessary amount of effort to stop someone from fleeing. That person was rather violent with them and has been yelling and screaming at them. Could you tell what the officer, like how they were grabbing onto her or anything like that? Like the tactic that was being used or anything? It was very like open and it wasn't anything violent. They didn't punch. They were just trying to stop her from running away. Okay. Just to Did you see where the, the person like landed when they took her down the ground? Oh, they actually stopped the person from like face oh, into the okay. ground. They like, caught them. They didn't want them to get hurt. Gotcha. So they into the bushes right there, right behind the yellow toolbox. Okay. Um, yeah, they stopped them from landing face first into the bush. Anything that you observed that would be irrational or excessive in any way? Not on behalf of the officers. Okay. They were really just trying to make sure they didn't do anything on court and keep them safe while also stopping them from running okay. away because they were going to land face first in that bush and it doesn't feel good. That's really all the questions I have for you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Right. Did a good job. After administering Narcan, the woman was given a health check at the scene and then taken to jail. She will face charges of assault, resisting arrest, and providing false information to the police. These offenses could result in a jail sentence of six months to two years, fines ranging from $500 to $5,000, and possibly probation or community service. On May 14, 2023, a concerning incident occurred when a girl driving a Mustang lost control and crashed into a Subaru WRX. After receiving the report, police quickly arrived at the scene to handle the situation. How you guys doing? Good. Yep. Anybody hurt? Nope. Hey. Anybody hurt? Are nope. you hurt? I'm good. How about you? You good? All right, same thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorting through all this. Nope. No, that's not a problem. Not it. The police check related documents such as the driver's license and registration, as well as the personal information of the female driver. She struggled to provide these documents as the car was owned by her stepfather and the insurance had expired. This is the first accident I've been in, so I'm not Whose car is it? Huh? Is your car? It's it's my stepdad's car. This is my first accident I've been in, so I'm not really sure how to handle this. No, so I've been letting my friend borrow my car for a while, so I borrowed my stepdad's car, so I'm using his car right now. Do you, um, do you have any idea of where it may be? Or? I'm going to look for it. Okay. I don't know exactly. I don't, I don't think he has it in this car. No. So my mom and my stepdad are going through a rough like, breakup right now. So I'm using his car, but we're in the process of giving it back to him. So I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm, like, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how the paperwork's working right now. Right. So that's exactly what I have. I can look for more for you. 
I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I I did. I jumped a little ahead of the bumper and I I did hit them. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna be like fucking with y'all. I did. I did hit them. Did you um have any? Have you had anything to drink? Today or? Um, probably about two hours ago. I was at Uncle Ricky's. Yeah. Probably about two hours ago, though. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I have no problem. I'm going to comply with you. I have no problem. Okay. When asked about the cause of the accident and if she had consumed alcohol before driving, she admitted to drinking about two hours before the accident. I just checked to make sure everybody, nobody's injured. There. I didn't get the other, there's a passenger in the other vehicle. Yeah. I didn't get anything, any information yet because I wanted to see what you want to do with her. Sabrina, are you okay? No, okay. I'm fine. I'm just waiting on... Here we okay. What do you got to give him? Um, I have this. I have this. I texted my mom for the actual insurance policy. Just to make sure. You text so your mom, you, said, you text your mom. You said. Yeah. Okay. Where's your phone at? Um, right over here. Okay. I didn't want to keep it out. That's fine. I try not to keep it out during while I'm driving. Honestly. Um, I'm borrowing this car from my mom's stepdad. My car has been kind of out of commission, so I've been borrowing this car. Of course, the last week I'm buying it. The police then asked the female driver to step out of the car and perform field sobriety tests. Okay, all right, this one. Okay. Yeah, we'll stop no, no, no. Um, ma'am, you can stand by real quick. So we're going to pull both these vehicles. Eddie, bring that up. Uh, have them pull over to the right lane. You bring the Mustang over. Pull 895 behind here. Um, so do me a favor. We're gonna do a test uh, for your eyes, okay? Do you have any issues with your eyes at all? No. No? Okay. Do me a favor. Uh, stand straight up for me, please. All right, and I just want you to put your hands down at your side, okay? And then what you're gonna do is using your eyes and your eyes only. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yeah. Right. Here we go. going to do some uh, additional tests, okay? Yeah. Now, you're going to face me, okay? We're going to use this line, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to demonstrate the test for you, all right? Go for it. All right. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps, okay? And I'm going to demonstrate. Once you get to, uh, to the nine steps, you're going to take a small series of steps in a straight line fashion, and then you're going to take nine back, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate, okay? One, two, Three, all the way down to nine. When you get to nine, I want you to keep the foot planted. You're gonna take a small series of steps. And yep, and then take nine steps back. One, two, three, all the way down to nine. Okay? okay. No, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, you may begin. All right, very good. So the next test that we're gonna do, okay, I want you to do the same thing. You're doing good so far, okay? I want you to keep your hands down at your side, okay? So again, you're gonna keep your hands down at your side. When you're ready, you're gonna raise your right foot off the ground approximately six inches, keeping your foot parallel to the ground and start counting out loud. Look down at your foot, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Continue until I tell you to stop. Based on the signs of intoxication and failing the tests, she was arrested and faced serious charges related to her actions. The girl was given a health check at the scene to ensure she was not seriously injured. She was then taken to the police station for further processing. O'Fallon police receive reports of a reckless driver continuously swerving and driving in the wrong lane, posing a danger. The police quickly identified the vehicle and conducted a traffic stop to check the driver's condition. This is what followed. Hello. Hi. Officer Hazard, the O'Fallon Police Department. How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, good, good. I'm all right. Where are you guys coming from tonight? Uh, I just pulled over talking. Okay. All right. Are you are you okay? Mm -hmm. You seem like you're a little upset. No. Okay. Do you have your driver's license with you, ma'am? I don't have mine. But... 
Where are you guys coming from tonight? Bobo. Bobo? Do you have insurance for the car, Jordan? Um, yes, it's on my phone, if you don't mind. Sure. I only have a virtually for my phone. What's that? I only, excuse me, excuse my voice. I only have it virtually for my dad. Okay, that'd be fine. The vehicle had a female driver and a man both admitting to drinking earlier. The police also found an open beer bottle in the car, which added to the severity of the situation. Have you been drinking tonight? Uh, I had a couple drinks, yeah. How many is a couple? Two. Uh, I had two. You've had two? Mm -hmm. And you've had how many? Yeah, uh, my third one is right here. Okay. Well, uh, that's open, isn't it? It is open, and I'm sorry, but it is, like, it's, I took it with me, and, like, I'll be willing to take all of it, but, like, this is just one beer. All right. It's not even... It's not even, like, I didn't even drink it. Oh, I got you. So you said you had two drinks? Mm -hmm. She had two. I had... This is my third one. About how long ago have you had your drink? Two drinks? Just one. No. I just went home at home. How long ago? About, you know, about 10, 15 yeah, minutes. It's 1.30. No, no, it's one thirty. You had your first drink at like 12. About 10, 15 minutes was my last drink. Okay, and you've had it too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Missed All right. I'm going to check on a few things, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll, be, you take this too if you want to. I'll out. be back with you on that. Just leave that alone for now, okay? The police asked the female driver to step out and perform field sobriety tests to assess her driving capability. Hey, Jordan. You might step it out of the car for me real quick. No. Talk to for a second and long. Do you have any weapons on you? Turn around for you. I'm just going to pat you down make sure you ain't got no weapons. It's clear that he doesn't. But I'm just going to pat you down make sure you don't. Right. You step over here for me. Okay, is, it, is everything okay? Or what, what's going on? You seem a little upset. I just, just want to get home. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so... You said you had a couple of drinks tonight, which is okay, you know. You said those two drinks you had, were they uh, were they beer, were they uh, mixed drinks, or what were yeah, they? Yeah, I had a Malibu and rum. Malibu, rum. Malibu rum and Sprite. Malibu and rum, mm. those were the two drinks you had? Mm. Did you have any beer with that? Mm -hmm. Any shots or anything like that? I had a shot. You had a shot? What did you have a shot of? Uh, a green tea shot. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm going to do, okay? Um, since you were honest with me, obviously you're driving. I just want to make sure that you're okay to drive home. I live, like, two minutes around the corner. I got it. I got you. So, uh, it's kind of it's kind of customary that I pull you out of the car or ask you to come out of the car so I could talk to you, just to gauge your level of intoxication, okay? Obviously, you admitted to me that you've been drinking and, um, you know, obviously you were driving home. You guys parked in here at the at the Lion's Choice in, in O'Fallon. You're sitting here a couple blocks from home. So, um, first, I just wanted to make sure that there was no, like, issues going on between you and your, your male friend in there. Like, you guys weren't fighting or anything like that because I could see that your eyes seem like they might have been a little glossy, you might have been crying, or I don't know. I don't know what was going on uh, prior to making contact with you, but I just want to make sure that uh, you're okay to drive home, okay? So I'm going to do a few tests, okay, here on scene to make sure that you're okay driving, okay? Look at the tip of my finger, okay? And with your eyes and your eyes only, I just want you to follow the tip of my finger. You see the tip of my finger? Okay, stay straight, keep your arms out to your side, and follow with my finger when I move it. Blink a couple times. Um, do you, um, while I'm asking you this, do you consume any cannabis or anything like that? No, you don't smoke any weed or anything like that. Are you under any kind of pain medication or any kind of prescription medication? No? Okay. Alright, just go ahead and put your feet together. Stand uh, straight up. Put your arms out to your side for me, okay? Alright, just go ahead and stand over here for me. We're going to walk this line here, okay? This is a straight and narrow line right here. You see this white line? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in position and I'm going to explain the rules and everything else, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to walk nine heel to toe steps on this line right in front of you that you see. You're going to count out your steps out loud, okay? It's going to look like something like this. One, two, three, four, so on until you get to your ninth step. When you take your ninth step, you'll take a series of small steps, keeping your left foot planted on the ground and returning nine heel to toe steps backwards on the line. Counting your steps out loud, okay? Keep your arms to your side. Count your steps out loud. Are you ready to begin? No. You may begin. Alright, I'm going to do one more test for you, okay? In this series, it's called the one-legged stand test, okay? What I need you to do is just stand straight, keep your feet together, keep your arms to your side, alright? 
Whatever foot you decide to raise up, I want you to raise it up approximately six inches off the ground, keeping your foot parallel with the ground. And you're gonna count out loud, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and so on until they tell you to stop, okay? Do you understand that? Okay, A begin. 1,001, The woman failed to complete these tests as instructed, indicating she was intoxicated. Next, the police asked the woman to blow into a breathalyzer. Let's turn around here, Sergeant. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can do this. Yeah, don't talk to me. Okay, Sergeant. Sergeant, what's your name? What I'm gonna do, you're gonna you're gonna blow in this like you're blowing up a balloon, okay? One hard, clean breath, right. okay? Mm. Blow, 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 harder, 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 harder. There you go. All right. The results showed the BAC of 0.144%, significantly higher than the legal limit of 0.08%. After being arrested, the woman faced several legal consequences. In court, she pled guilty to driving under the influence and was sentenced to two years of supervision, required to attend an alcohol rehabilitation program, and fined $3,431. Another case involves a drunk teacher with a terrible attitude when confronting the police. The police stopped the woman's car after noticing her driving unsafely. When approached, the police detected the smell of alcohol and asked her to step out of the car to perform sobriety tests. All right, Danielle, first things first, I'm gonna ask you to put this away because this belongs to your friend. I'll also have to ask you to shut up the vehicle and step out and speak to me. All right, so real quick, you know, it is a bit of a concern when you're telling us that you were over at the bar. And then, of course, I can smell the alcohol on your breath. You're a little bit slow. And yes. You kept on driving. I'm sure I pulled up behind you. I have to tell you to stop over the loudspeaker. So at this time, I do have to reach you something real quick before I proceed any further. Now, just because I read this doesn't mean you're in trouble or anything. It's just a formality that I have to do. All right. Again, I'm Deputy Wind, Bash number 875. I have to ask you specifics for possibly drinking and driving. These are your rights. You have the right to remain silent and anything you say may be used as evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have him or her with you now or at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. If at any time you wish to stop talking or have an attorney present, all questioning will be stopped at your request. Do you understand these rights? <laughs> so, what did you have to drink? Over a hooligans. I had a couple of glasses of wine. Okay. Do you normally go to Hooligans? No, never. But my kids were kidnapping me. I'm sorry to hear that. It's in January, and I don't even know what to do at this point. Understood, understood. They were kidnapping me from me, from my ex-husband. So you had a little bit of a child custody issue with you and your kids? Oh, yes. Alright. And I'm just like trying to get through it, and then... Sunday is Easter. I've never been without them on Easter. Never ever have I been without them on Easter. Understood. Well, again, this is still a big concern of us, so would you be willing to participate in field sobriety exercises? I mean, sure, I don't know if I'll pass it, but, you know. I got like, you. I just... Based on the signs and her admission of drinking, the police conducted sobriety tests. Throughout the tests, the woman continually complained, cried, and made excuses for her behavior. All right, well, let's head on over here and get this out of the way. All right. You may relax. When I tell you to begin, you'll take nine heel-to-toe steps on the line. They'll look like this. One, two, three, so on and so forth. To turn around, keep one foot on the line and make smaller turning so after circles. Nine, you want me to turn around? Okay. To turn around, keep one foot on the line and take nine return steps. Can you return to the starting position, please? Okay. Danielle, do you understand the instructions? I don't want 
I understand, Danielle. Just be advised that if you refuse to take the SSFEs of field sobriety, then a decision to arrest you may have to be made with what I have so far. Do you understand? All right, I'm going to start from the beginning, okay? Place your left foot on the line. Place your right foot on the line ahead of your left. With the heel of your right foot against the toe of your left. Do not start until I tell you to do so. Do you understand? When I tell you to begin, take nine heel to toe steps on the line. It'll look like this. One, two, three, so on, so forth. When you get to number nine, to turn around, keep your left foot on the line, take several steps to turn around. When you turn on the ninth step, keep your front foot on the line, take several small steps with the other foot, take nine heel to toe steps back down the line. So one, two, three, so on, so forth. Do you understand? Okay. You may begin. <laughs> Alright, go and relax. The next exercise we're going to do is called the one leg stand. Listen, I'm not a bad person. Like, I, I understand. Just, I don't know what to tell you guys. My kids were kidnapped away from me and I just don't know what to do anymore. Like, I just... <laughs> I understand, Danielle. That's not why we're here today. Do you understand the instructions? You may begin. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Like, I can't even do that if I'm not drinking. Like, I can't even do that. Understood. Then tell you what, we'll, I'm, I'm not, we'll go like, to the I'm, next one. I'm, we'll go I, to the next I'm one. I'm not like right? a balanced person. After the woman refused to cooperate and could not complete the sobriety tests, the police decided to arrest her for driving under the influence. During the arrest, she even used racist language and insulted the police. I'm not a bad person. I just want to go home. Like, I just... My kids were taken away from me, like, over two months ago. And I don't even know what to do anymore at this point. Like, I can't even get them back. <laughs> I understand, but that's going to be a matter that will have to be solved in civil court. I know that. I have a lawyer. I have all this stuff, but sometimes I just have to, like, get away from, like, my freaking <laughs> space. I understand that, Danielle. <laughs> There's a reason why we're here at the side of the road You don't understand. Today. You don't know. Do you have kids? Imagine if your kids were taken away from you. Imagine at 65 miles an hour, you run into a kid and end their life instantly. Then their kids are taken away from their parents permanently. At this that time, never you are placed under arrest. Turn around, place your hands behind your back. <laughs> we're going to call the owner of the vehicle. So that way, hopefully... I don't want to be out close to the road like that. That's weird. This vehicle, if you have anything on you, it's going to poke me, probably me, stick me, cut me, anything else. If you take anything additional into a facility, it's an additional charge at a felony level. Do you understand? Yeah, I to make sure you don't have anything illegal on you. No. Okay. Like, so no. I'm going to pat you down. Stand still. Please, no, I've never been arrested. Danielle, listen <laughs> to my so instructions. This is so weird. This is so weird. Like, just please. I don't, I've never been arrested before. I've never gone to. <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> can you please call my boyfriend? No, you can have please, a seat. Please. Stop being a bitch to me. Have a seat. Thank you. Watch your head. She will be taken to jail to face charges such as driving under the influence and resisting the police. These charges can lead to severe penalties including jail time, fines, and driver's license suspension. The use of racist language can also worsen her legal situation. At Wakula Springs State Park, Florida, a notable event occurred when police had to intervene due to a female employee's strange behavior at work. That morning, the park manager contacted the police after noticing abnormal behavior from the female employee. How you doing, ma'am? I know. We got a call about it. You'll turn off your vehicle for me? Oh, sure. I just got it started, but okay. You good. Well, so what's going on with you? I'm sick. I need to go home and see my dad because okay. I'm sick. Okay. They know that. You got your driver's license on you? I sure do. I just got it back. That's right. I'm happy about that. It took me a long time. Gotcha. Seven years. What was the situation that was going on earlier? 
Where? They got it. We got a call saying that it was a whole disturbance or something going on. Something happened? No. I'll be right back with you. Okay. According to reports, she had been shouting at customers and preaching from the Bible, leading the manager to suspect she was under the influence of stimulants. I don't smell any alcohol on her. I didn't smell any. You didn't smell any alcohol? Let's get her out and kind of talk to her um, and see where she's at. Like, her pupils did look dilated. Gotcha. Like, did you notice that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I don't... I don't think we have enough as far as right now to... Well, I don't know. We need to talk to her because if she's... If there's something else that, that's, going that's going on, we just need to figure out what's going on. We're all done and done. Yes, ma'am. It's all right. You Could know, you step out for me to get this license back? And it's now you're going to pull me over when I'm just leaving. I'm listen, leaving work listen, listen. Sick. Calm down. All right, you know, I am going to... You know how hard this is. I know I you understand. don't. I'm going to just need you to stand out the car for We're going to talk for a minute. Just try and calm down and just get to the I'm bottom of the situation. All right, I'm calm. We, okay. We, we, we just want to make sure that you're okay, all right? I got a breathalyzer. I'm surely okay. Okay. Let's come back to the rear of the car for us. Sure. Okay. You just stand by the car. Okay. You can lean up against it if you like. So what was the situation going on today? Are you usually, do you feel like yourself today? I feel good, yeah. I went to church this morning. Right. And, well, I didn't hang out with my family. Mm -hmm. What did you do prior to when you came on today? Prior before I need you clocked on. I a shower. On. I want to go home and get one now. Gotcha. My hair feels disgusting. So just walk me through your day from the time that you woke up to now. Sir, I don't really have time for this. I'd like my license back now. Well, that's not how this is going to go right now. Sir, you're there's nothing. Okay, well, you're welcome to search my car if that's what you would like to do. You I'm don't not need gonna... to search your car. We're trying to just make sure everything is all right with you. That's where we are. This, this... I am just fine. You don't need to know my day. That has nothing to do with anything for you. That, there, that you were acting upset and things like that at the at the, at the lodge. And we, we want to make sure that I'm you're okay. Sick. What, what's what's the wrong? Issue? Also, none of your business. I'm sorry. FWC. Okay. Is that what this is? Yes, ma'am. We're just trying to make sure that you're okay. That's what we want to get to at the end of the day. I have a breathalyzer. Right. Okay, you're welcome to search my car. That's all you really need to worry about with me. I want my license. Well, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to conduct some, some tests to make sure that you're safe to drive, okay? okay? Um, Stand on my head if you she immediately claimed she needed to go home because she was sick and demanded her driver's license back, which she had just regained after seven years. However, when the police attempted to conduct a check, she was uncooperative, refusing alcohol and drug tests. All right, you say you are wearing contacts right now? Uh, I can't see them. You can step back to the back of your car. You can step back to the back of your car. You want to see some more contacts? I got two more pairs. No, ma'am, you're fine. Are you going to finish your question, sir? Yes, ma'am. Because I'm playing hooky and I'm busy. Okay, we just like I said, we're just trying to make go sure enjoy everything's being good. With Jesse. Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay. All right. So right now I'm going to check your eyes. So hold your head still, and I want you to follow this stimulus with your eyes only. Do you understand? So this is the tip of the pen. I just want you to follow the tip of the pen where my finger is. All right. I'm not doing this. You're going to give me my license back. You're not consenting to do the field sobriety? No, sir. I am not. And you're welcome to search my car. I have a breathalyzer. Can't even start the car. No, so that's what I'm for. drinking. You know what okay. I'm saying? You haven't drank them today? No! Okay. I wouldn't be able to drive the car. It has a limit. You know what the limit is set to? You really? I can drink and drive? No, ma'am. Is that what you're telling me? No, they lied to me. How long ago did Jesse, they put that in your car? Jesse, no. Don't even listen to me. Do you know how long ago they put that in your car? You see the issue date on that? License I did. I'm proud of that license. It took me seven years to get it. As you should be. Oh, and sorry, we're not trying I'm to take that away from you. I'm going to sit back down in my car. Yes, because I'm smoking this baby and getting lightheaded, and I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to play hooky. No, right. down, I'm really enjoying sitting here with you right now. Are you refusing to submit to this sobriety test? Yes, sobriety? I am. Okay. Okay. The police noticed the female employee had dilated pupils and strange behavior, common signs of stimulant use or mental health issues. When asked to step out of the car, the woman strongly resisted. She refused to comply with the police's request repeatedly, demanding her driver's license back, and even drove away from the scene. Get Stand away the from me! Call 911. Stand at the rear of the car. I'm trying to do it ourselves. Get away from me, mother! Stand at the rear of your car. Ooh, you mess with me. You're in trouble. You're in big trouble because he really loves her. Sure, get your, your, your hands place. off of me. Your hands behind your back, ma'am. I need you to turn around for us, please. Sir, get away from me. Ma'am, get away from me. Ma'am, you need to turn around for us. Get away from me. We're not asking you. We're telling you to turn around get for us. Get away from me. Turn around. Get okay. away from me. Turn around. Oh, Put your hands behind I need your help on that Wakala Springs. Grab the keys. I need your help on that Wakala Springs. Grab the keys. I need your help on that Wakala Springs. No. Grab from the other side. Sir, help on that Wakala Springs. Get your hands. Yes, come and help me. Ma'am, come out. Get her up there. 
Stop resisting. I will stop, get, stop, I will get out stop of the resisting. When the stop other resisting. When you have my keys. I can't go anywhere. I know. Stop when resisting. We're asking you to get out of the car. Calm down. When the other cops get here, dude, listen, come. Listen, 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 listen. You're so only going to make this worse for yourself. But you know they're going to take me to jail. Ma'am, please. This is, you're get making, off of me. You're making this worse. worse. You're making listen. this worse. Get out of the vehicle. Dude, get, get, your, get off me, man. <laughs> Finally, the police was forced to use coercive measures to arrest her. The female employee was charged with driving under the influence, obstructing the police, and resisting arrest. Which situation do you think is the best? Let us comment below. If you find the video interesting, please subscribe to the channel to follow the latest videos. See ya!